squash an essential American vegetable. And of course, one of the most unusual squashes, spaghetti squash. Now we've cut this in half, we've scooped out the seeds, we've brushed it in butter and seasoned it, and we've roasted it in the oven for a little while. And all we wanna do is make this squash tender enough so that you can scrape down the sides. And as you can see, that's why spaghetti squash got its name, because its meat actually comes apart in threads and just kind of separate out all of those threads. And you can see here that it really does look like noodles. And I'm just doing this slowly and letting the pieces fall from my hands. So I don't have big clumps of squash. And it also allows me to take any little bits of skin and throw it to the side. Now today, we're gonna make a gratin. It's fun to make a gratin that has a crumble topping and sort of use a technique that most people see with dessert and use it for the squash. I like this to be peppery. Pepper has great flavor. And I like for this dish to actually use these peppercorn melange mixtures that have green and white and pink peppercorns in them. I'm gonna season this with a little salt, just a pinch of clove, some nutmeg, some allspice, fresh thyme, butter, I'm gonna chiffonade some sage in there because I love the flavor of sage here. It's so autumnal. Just a few leaves and just stir that to combine it. Now you don't wanna machine shop this around too much because you wanna maintain those beautiful strands. But at the same time, you wanna make sure that those sweet spices, the butter and herbs are evenly distributed so that no one's biting into a big clump of sage or thyme. And it goes into our gratin dish. And we don't need to pack it down, just kind of the way it falls in there, just distribute that evenly. And then we want to make our breadcrumb topping. These are fresh breadcrumbs made with soft artisanal bread. I have some beautiful grated Pecorino Romano, brown sugar, chili flake, parsley. I've got some garlic here and I've got some melted butter. Put that into the butter. Stir that up. And just keep stirring that around. Agitate the bowl back and forth. And after a little while, you'll see that that butter and all of those ingredients are evenly incorporated across the breadcrumbs. These breadcrumbs, I always make a pile in the middle and move it to the side. Do not pack it down. You want them to get nice and roasty, toasty, and crispy. Season the top of our crumble. This goes into a 425 degree oven till the top is brown and the squash is heated through. This is a wonderful fall side dish. Also ideal for entertaining and you guessed it, perfect for Thanksgiving. That is nice looking. And texturally, the soft squash with the crunchy crumble topping is just gonna be a huge, huge winner. And if you have a friend who doesn't eat meat, this can be the centerpiece of a wonderful vegetarian meal as well. Spaghetti squash crumble. I think I could crush this entire tray.